Hey everyone, it's AYBL Main here. Uh, this is my series, uh, AYBL Main's top five series for albums, songs, uh, movies, and the like. Uh, I'll be counting down those things, or at least uh, ranking those things as I go along. Please uh, take time to hit the red subscribe button down below. Please leave comments, maybe your top five in each particular category. That would be kind of cool. And whether you like or dislike the video. Um, other than that, guys, let's just sit back and enjoy and, uh, and plug away at this series. I appreciate it. Hey guys, it is AYBL Main, and now I want to get back to my top five albums for every year that I've been alive. And now we're at the year 2014. That's going to be year 46. Um, plugging along here, and uh, very interesting year. Uh, very uh, a lot of new artists that I didn't really know until the last year. So let's kind of jump in here. Making my top five is going to be the War on Drugs, their second album, Lost in a Dream. Lost in the Dream, actually, is the name of it. Um, Really great sound. I, have a, I, I really like their debut album. I will have another album of theirs coming up uh, a little bit later that uh, I like even more. It's uh, very Americana, kind of a little bit of Heartland rock, but it's mixed in with that indie pop sound that makes it all very interesting. Try Out Red Eyes, uh, Under the Pressure is a very good song. Also Burning, uh, it's produced by the, uh, by the lead singer. So uh, really great material. And uh, like I said, you'll be hearing from them a little bit later down the road. Uh, also making it for me is this big time Grammy uh, award winning album by Beck, Morning Phase. Um, if you recall, uh, this was the one that Kanye uh, tried to get up on stage and give a hard time about just like he did Taylor Swift, um, but thought about it a little bit closer and realized that he was just being a jackass. And uh, he was later told by other artists uh, just how much of a, a great artist that Beck was and how much of an idiot he would have looked like. So that's good for him to learn that. It's kind of a folk rock kind of album. Uh, it's got a song called Blue Moon on there. Uh, Say Goodbye is probably my favorite track on there. Uh, it's written and produced, you know, and, and most of the instruments are played by Beck, you know, which was at least two dozen different instruments that he played on there. So the man is like a renaissance man when it comes to music. Also making it a top five is going to be Lana Del Rey's Ultra Violence. I really didn't know what to expect when I first listened to her. I thought she was just a pop princess of some kind, but I was really way off base here. It's psych rock, a little bit of dream pop, a little bit of what's called desert rock. Uh, it's very interesting. Dan uh, uh, Auerbach, the uh, lead singer from uh, the Black Keys, he did the producing on this, and you can kind of feel some of the lo-fi-ness creeping in there, but he's, a, he's an excellent producer. He's going to be able to make a living even if the Black Keys got done making music tomorrow. So... Uh, title track's good. Brooklyn Baby's also good. And I like the song West, West Coast. If you haven't checked that out, definitely give Ultraviolence a listen. It's better than, in my opinion, in a lot of ways, the album, her follow-up album later on, Norman fucking Rockwell. So, Also making it is uh, the self-titled album for St. Vincent. St. Vincent, St. Vincent. Her actual real name is Annie Clark. But uh, it's her fifth album, so that makes it kind of odd that it's a, her self-titled album. But... It's art rock, noise pop kind of thing. It was very different, and I really liked it. And it made me want to go listen to some of her other material. Um, I, I think you should check out Digital Witness and Prince Johnny are some tracks. And But my favorite track is the one called Regret. Uh, I think uh, that's probably the best track on there. Very interesting. I tell you, that's a very interesting year. And uh, uh, But the number one for me is going to have to be the Black Keys Turn Blue. So we're kind of keeping that theme with the Black Keys, and you're going to notice that they're still going to hang on here for another couple albums. It's their uh, eighth album overall. It's a little bit more psych rock on this one. Still get a little bit of the blues rock. Still get a little bit of the lo-fi sound a little bit. Uh, Fevers on here is very good. Uh, Gotta Get Away is very good. Uh, Weight of Love is also good. Danger Mouse produces along with the band members, so it's just a, just a fantastic album. Um, one that I've uh, been trying to get on vinyl for a while. I mean, I have it on, have it on CD, and I have it on, you know, obviously for digital purposes. But man, I haven't been able to get a hold of a vinyl copy yet. So, as for the album that everybody said I would like, but I actually didn't, I'm going to go with U2 "Songs of Innocence" here. Coming off of "No Line on the Horizon," I was very disappointed. There really wasn't a single on here that I could kind of latch on to and was happy with. I just kind of think that Bono was kind of strayed way away from what U2 was really kind of about at the beginning. Um, maybe later on, some arguments can be made about some of his uh, latter albums kind of making their way back home, but 
Uh, with this album, I can tell you, he, he really strayed far away. So not feeling it. So that's it for 2014 for me, guys. Uh, I'm hoping to get 2015 up as soon as I can. Um, probably midweek, maybe Thursday if, if possible. But until then, you guys take care.